Hi, Tucson Technics. This is Tommy, and I'm David Rusparski. Uh, Tommy here is a fully autonomous car, which means he can drive all by himself. Uh, let's take a quicker look at what is available inside Tommy. This computer right here is the brains behind Tommy. It's a motherboard that you could get uh, at Best Buy for about $200. And it uh, takes care of all the processing. It takes in all the data from the different sensors that we have around the car, which we'll cover later. And figures out what to do, such as go faster or slow down, turn left, turn right. And uh, then tells all the motors what to do from there. Uh, the, these things here that you see, they're blue. They talk directly to the motors. They let us talk to uh, the gas pedal and the brake and the steering. These smaller red guys that you see uh, will take in the data from the different sensors and do a little processing of them before they hand it off to the, the brains. And uh, this guy here, it's a little hard to see, but he's a sunspot. And what he does is if the computer dies or if one of the main sensors dies, uh, then you're kind of in a situation where you're driving unsafely. So it knows how to shut down the car and um, properly stop it so no one gets hurt. Some of the sensors that we use, this guy, uh, it's a little hard to see from your angle, but he is a laser rangefinder. So he shoots out infrared light, just like uh, the same technology that you use for remote control and for your TV and it will get the light back and determine how far away things are. So this guy is mainly for when it's backing up, you can tell if there's anybody behind it and it won't hit them. Uh, you can also see them around the sides of the car. And so if we're switching lanes, it knows how to watch out for other cars. And we also have a few of them out in the front. So let's go out in the front. You can see there's one here. And we have a couple in the front. So these are so that we can see cars out in front and any other obstacles that might run out. So if a dog runs out or a person steps out in front of you, he knows how to stop. Uh, this is a stereo vision camera. It has two cameras inside, so it sees a lot like a human does. It has two eyes, and with those two eyes, it can tell depth perception. We also use that to determine where the lanes are in the road so you can see the, the different lines. The white antennas that you see up on top are GPS antennas. They can give us, uh, GPS is, um, it tells you where you are in the world. <laughs> and uh, from that we can also determine where we want to go. So you just say, I want to go to home. So you hit the go button and it knows how to plot uh, the, the course along the road and say, well, I need to make a left turn here and a right turn there. And it knows how to get there. It also knows with the sensors, if it detects something that's in the road, that's blocking the road, it can uh, then make a new path and find a new way to get home. Uh, if you see this guy, he moves up and down every once in a while. And if I sit here, it will eventually rotate up and down. And if you look over here, see where I was sitting. Do you do voice control? Do what? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Tommy does talk, which you will see in the keynote. I'm not sure if you're going to the keynote or not, but uh, you'll be able to see him if you do go. You'll uh, see my boss, Paul Perron, walking around, and the car will follow him and talk to you. He'll say, oh, I'm making a left turn, or oh, I'm making a right turn, and stopping and backing up. And that's about it. Good luck.